Hey everybody. So we're going to attempt to make this um, forget-me-not flower and um, I'm going to see how this goes. This, I'm new to making videos but um, and I'm new to claying so we'll see where this takes us. So okay. I'm going to start this off by make, taking about a half ounce of brown mixed with oh I mean like just a little sliver of black just to make it a little bit darker and then I'm going to put the yellow in the center. I'm gonna make a bullseye cane and we're gonna reduce that and see what we come up with next. Okay, so what I've done here is to just make a simple yellow in the center. I actually double wrapped the dark brown so that um, I have a little bit thicker on the outside because it wasn't quite as thick as I thought it should be. Now I'm gonna reduce this and I'll come right back. Okay, what I did here was simply reduce it out and I cut it into four, and now I'm gonna combine those together and reduce kind of it. Gives you a picture of it before it's reduced. And actually, I kind of like the fact that all this, the um, the shapes are kind of different in the middle because you've never seen a flower with an absolute perfect shape in the middle. So I think it looks gonna be kind of cool. Let's just reduce it a little bit more and see uh, what happens. I think I'm gonna reduce it one more time and then let it go way down to a down. I think that's just about the size it should be for me to put the petals on. So let's go on to the next section of the petals. Next, as you can see, you've got that yellow center, but it's got some pretty specific five little sections of it. So what I'm gonna do is take this clay and I'm gonna roll it out and I'm gonna try to roll up those five uh, sections and then I'm gonna cover it with something just a shade darker shimmer. I'm gonna first mix in a little bit of this uh, yellow gold glitter with it and we'll see what that looks like. I roll it out about 10 times. I don't know how much you can tell, but there's a nice little bit of shimmer and glitter in there. So I just think it's gonna make it a little sparkly in the end. So here you can see my little yellow barrel and I'm just taking some cayenne, just a little shade or two darker, just so it's gonna give it a little bit of contrast, but uh, not look like it's really outlining it too severely. It's cayenne is really, really crumbly. It's definitely still a little bit rough around the edges, but I feel like at least it made it enough where it would hold together better. Now I'm gonna wrap it. Um, by the way, I rolled this on a seven on my pasta roller. Mine goes up to a nine. Um, I wanted to do that so that when we reduce it, you've really got only a hint of color okay, around So there. before I get further along, I wanted you to see that, A, I'm not a perfectionist, because if you look really closely, you see that when I rolled it out, I ran short. So I had a little piece left over, ran it through the pasta machine again, and I pieced it on here. However, once we start reducing it and rolling down, I really don't think anyone's gonna notice that okay. at all. So if you look here, you'll see that I rolled it out to 10 inches long, and that includes being able to cut off the little messed up ends. But save them, because you know they're always good for something. Now I'll cut it into five little even sized pieces, and then we're gonna put it all around our center. After taking a look at the center, and my pieces to add on, I decided based on the picture that the center was too big. So I rolled it down uh, to about half its size and then I cut it to a two inch piece okay, again. Now, if we do a little comparison, I think we have a pretty close center to our flower. So now we're gonna move on to the petal portion. To be honest, sliced up, it's kind of a cute little flower all in itself. We're gonna be working with some white here next and I like to glitter it up a little bit like I did with the gold. Um, so I'm adding a little white gold glitter along with the white. And then I think I'm just looking at this and I feel like maybe we wanna take that white and extend it around the yellow and then put the blue petals on. I'm not sure yet, I'm still thinking. So currently for me, this is kind of all just guesswork, but we're just going as we go. Um, I took the blue uh, glitter Primo clay, and I've got about one ounce of that. And then I have two whole ounces of the baby blue. And then I was thinking, let's just put a little bit of the white glittered, just a little bit, maybe a half an ounce in the middle of it so that when we have it done, it gives the flower just a little bit of a hint of a highlight in the middle. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I decided to use a half an ounce of the dark blue and split it up between the two sides um, using a little less. I have no idea if this is gonna come out right, but you know, we're gonna figure out as we go, right? Let's just 
roll it out and I'll show you what it looks like before I put it through the All roller. Right, I'm gonna run it through the pasta machine and see what we come out with. Okay, so this is what I came back with and I actually really like this. So now we're gonna fold it into three to make it skinnier, like so. And then we're gonna put it through the pasta machine long ways and thin it out. By the way, I did, this was all just on the thickest one, the one. So we're gonna roll this down to mm, maybe like a five or six. Let's see how thin we can get it without distorting it. I'll be back. All right, then. so this is on a five. This is what I came back with. And I'm gonna accordion fold it all the way up. All right, so here we are with our block with the dark on the ends and the light in the middle, which is just what we were going for. Now I think I'll cover it with a very thin white and then we'll stretch it out and start making the leaves. Okay, I came back, I did it on an eight, and now I'm gonna cover this okay, up. Okay, so as I said, I covered it with a thin layer of white, like it's straight up on nine, as thin as it can go, because I just barely want a little, little tiny bit of, sh of highlight on there. And also, I took this hint from Susan with Turtle Soup Beads and put a registration mark at the bottom, so I'll know once it's all the way reduced, It'll not only keep my line straight of my petal, but it will also show me where I need to add it onto the center of the flower. Okay, I'm gonna go reduce this now and I'll be back. All right, I cut it, but it looks a little too square triangular to me. So now I'm gonna go and work the edges and see if I can round them a little bit and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm a little bit happier with this outcome, though not perfect. However, if you look at it now against the center, the center is way, way too big for the size that we had to reduce the petal to. Like I said, I'm new at this, wasn't sure exactly how much clay was needed. So I'm gonna go and reduce this center down um, about half its size and then I'll be back. So I've cut them into five even pieces. And then what I did was, it's almost kind of like a heart shape. I just took a, my paintbrush end that's real thin and just kind of made a little dig in the middle. So it kind of matches the fact that their end of their petals go in. And then we're gonna attach it to our center and we'll okay, go from I'm not gonna give the exact effect I wanted, but I was looking for some way to get that white around the yellow, like it is here. I'm just gonna try this and then attach the petals to that. So all I did was roll out a really thin piece. I'm gonna cut that off because it's too long. But all I did was roll out a really thin piece and then cover it. Okay, all right. so there's the end result. Um. I guess all in all, I'm satisfied with it. I think I might go ahead and put a little bit of um, the transparent to go around the edges so I can roll it down a little bit easier. But for my first try, I guess it's not so bad. Let's see what we think. Ah, not the best, not the worst. Thanks guys for joining me. This is Colleen with Artwork by Colleen. Have a good one, bye.